Hello everyone, my name is Hao Yuwang. I'm a PhD student from Purdue University. It's my honor to present our paper, Fed KC Federated Knowledge Conversation for Multilingual Natural Language Understanding. Others include Hao Yuwang, Han Dong Zhao, Ya Qing Wang, Tong Yu, Jiu Xiang Gu, and Jing Gao. First, I will introduce our problem formulation of our paper. In our paper, we focus on a particular, uh, we focus on a practical and a common scenario in real world about multilingual natural language understanding. We consider that multilingual text data is stored in distributed devices or clients, and we want to train a model to comprehend multilingual documents without sharing raw data among clients. Mathematically. There is a central server and the n clients, and each client has a dataset di. Here, sij is the text content, yji is the label of sji, and ni is the number of training instances in di. The goal is to learn a global model for multilingual natural language understanding tasks. Then, I will introduce the background knowledge. There are two concepts related to our work. First one is natural language understanding. It is to make machines understand the context and the meaning of natural languages. And it is an umbrella term which consists of many different subtasks, such as text classification, named entity recognition, sentiment and analysis, and so on. The second concept is federated learning. For federated learning, data cannot be shared among clients. The central server first distributes global model parameters to clients. Then clients update local models and upload them to the central server. In the end, the central server update the global model the weighted sum of uploaded local models. It repeats the three steps until convergence. However, federated learning for multilingual natural language understanding has some challenges. The non id distribution is a significant issue. First, different clients may have different language data. Second, the amount of data in different languages varies significantly. So, it is very different from the traditional machine learning uh, settings, and it is difficult to learn a good global model. In the following, I list some related work with respect to the two topics. First is about multilingual natural language understanding. Previous work Use the traditional deep models like LSTM, CNN. Recently, pre trained language models achieve the state of the art performance, such as MBERT and XLM Roberta. In our paper, we use the MBERT as a backbone. For federated learning, we list several state of the art methods for non IED distribution, and we show the differences between our proposed framework. Fed KC and the baselines in the table. Then I will introduce the methodology. First, I will provide an overview about our proposed framework, Fed KC. Federated learning includes two main procedures, where one is to update update parameters on local clients, and another is to aggregate client parameters for global model. Most widely adopted weighted aggregation operation is weighted sum by amount of training data on each client, thereby easily leading to model bias towards more emphasis on high resource languages. To overcome this issue, we propose a um, knowledge conversation module to exchange knowledge among clients for federated learning. The knowledge conversation 
involves two steps, including knowledge sharing across clients and updating clients' parameters by cluster-aware consistency loss. Our FED KC framework first conducts knowledge sharing across clients, then updates clients' parameters with cluster-aware consistency loss and the defined task loss. In the end, we upload the updated client parameters into center server for weight aggregation via weighted average. With our proposed knowledge composition module, weighted average aggregation does not lead to model bias since each active client learns knowledge of low resource, resource languages via client aware consist, consistency loss as well. In the following, I will explain the cluster-aware consistency loss in detail. To solve the non-IED problem, we hope knowledge can be shared across clients. Ideally, we hope different clients can make consistent predictions, which corresponds to the loss function error here. And the loss, the loss function here this part is includes the task loss and the, the consistency loss error. WMT is a parameter of model in client M, and the WIT is a parameter of model in client I, and the CE is a cross entropy loss. EKM is the data representation from model in client M. The loss function means that if client I can achieve data representation uh, of client M, it should make similar predictions to that of the model in client M. However, recent work shows that it is possible to recover raw data from data representation. Therefore, this method may lead to information leakage. To solve this problem, we propose the cluster aware consistency loss. We perform k means to data representation to get q clusters. And the client M just needs to share q centroids and the average the label corresponding to each cluster with client I. And the Q centroids and the averaged labels are the representative data. The models in client I and client M should make consistent predictions for this representative data. For the proposed method fed KC, we can prove that it is difficult to recover raw data from the centroids. The proposition shows that attack results will be far away from the ground truth tokens. And uh, the details about the proof are, in the, are shown in the appendix of our paper. And in this way, its communication cost is small. For example, if there are 10 clusters, 10 active clients, and 10 label categories, we just need to upload and distribute additional 0 0.16 million parameters. Compared to the MBERT, there is only 0 0.15 percentage additional cost. Then, I will show the experiment results. We use three public multilingual datasets, w, uh, PAWS X, QAM, and QC. For the first dataset, it is about the task paraphrase identification. The second dataset is about the task QA matching. And the third dataset is about the news classification task. And we use six 
state-of-the-art baselines, including MBIRT only English, MBIRT or languages, Fed Average, Fed Prox, Moon, and the Fed Mix. For the MBIRT only English, that means we fine tune MBIRT with only English data, and the baseline. And BERT all languages means that we find two and BERT with all in all languages. It provides the ceiling performance. Then I will talk about the performance com comparison. From this table, we have three findings. First, using multilingual training data provides more benefits for the three tasks than using monolingual training data. And second, baselines still have huge, huge performance gap compared with data-centered training. Third, the proposed knowledge composition outperforms federated learning baselines greatly. In the next, I will show the effectiveness of the proposed cluster aware consistency loss. We report the results of knowledge composition with and without k means. For the knowledge composition without k means, it means that just using the average of all data representation as representative data. It, it also can be considered as the k means. Uh, with only one centroid or one cluster. According to the table, we find that knowledge composition with k means significantly outperforms knowledge composition without k means. Then, I will show the quantitative and analysis of privacy. We try to recover real text from the representation from Fed KC. For each token, we choose top n possible candidates. Then, the proportion of tokens who have candidates contained in the 10 row data test, row, row text is the hit ratio. According to figure 4, we found, we find that recover, recovering data from Fed KC cannot achieve high Accuracy. In conclusion, we propose a knowledge conversation module which exchanges knowledge among clients to effectively handle non IID challenges with privacy guarantee for multilingual NLU tasks. Second, the high level knowledge can preserve data privacy, which is exempt by both theoretical analysis and empirical studies. Third, we conduct extens extensive experiments on three public multilingual NLU datasets, including paraphrase identification, question answering matching, and the news classification tasks. Experimental results show that the proposed knowledge conversation outperforms state-of-the-art baselines on all three datasets. And here we provide the reference of the baselines we use. That's all about my presentation. Thank you. If you have any other questions, please feel free to contact me. My email address is wang5346.atpudu.edu. Thanks for your listening.